Whenever anything grows very fast, we can say that it grows exponentially. Look at a chessboard. It has 64 blocks. In the first block, we can write the number 1. Then double this and write the answer in the second block. And continue this pattern all the way to the end. After just a few blocks, you will be able to see how the numbers grow slowly at first and then very rapidly. The number pattern will look as follows. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, 8192, 16384, 32768. The sixteenth number is already over 30,000. This is an example of exponential growth. If we were to draw a relationship between the number showing the value on the y-axis and the block number on the x-axis, we would see the exponential growth. Can you see how the graph was flat for a long time and then suddenly rised very sharply? This is the power of exponential growth. The formula for the exponential function is y is equal to a to the power of x plus p to the side plus q. With exponential functions, we are not so much concerned about positive and negative. We are more concerned about the value of a. If the value of a is greater than 1, then our exponential function is increasing. If the value of a is less than 1, then our exponential function is decreasing. For example, if the function is y is equal to 2 to the power of x, then it is increasing. And if the function is y is equal to 1 half to the power of x, remember to put that in a bracket, it is decreasing. It is important to remember that the magic numbers in exponential functions is 1. All standard exponential functions have a y-intercept of 1. To find the y-intercept, we allow x to equal 0. y is equal to 2 to the power of 0. That would mean y is equal to 1. We have a y-intercept of 1. y is equal to, in brackets, 1 half to the power of 0. That would mean y is equal to 1. We have a y-intercept of 1. Exponential functions have no vertical asymptote. There is only a shift to the left or right. This is determined by the value of p. Remember, the value of p always changes sign when taken out of the equation. So, if the exponent in the equation is x plus 3, then the exponential graph has moved left, or negatively, three places. And if the exponent is x minus 2, then the graph has moved right, or positively, two places. The exponential function does have a horizontal asymptote, which is determined by the value of q. The value of q moves the graph up or down. If an exponential function is negative, it is a reflection of the positive exponential function in the x-axis. Consider the following exponential function f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. This is an increasing exponential function because the value of a is greater than 1. The function also has a horizontal asymptote at a y value of 1. First, draw the axes and the asymptote and label them. Your diagrams do not have to be huge and they do not have to be to scale. Remember to indicate your horizontal asymptote with a dashed line. y is equal to 1. Next, determine the y-intercept. Remember, the magic number for exponential functions is 1, and therefore it would normally have an x-intercept of 1. But 
This exponential function has moved up by one unit. We can prove this. To find a y-intercept, let x equal zero. Therefore, y is equal to two to the power of zero plus one. Remember, two to the power of zero is one, plus one is equal to two. So we have a y value of two. We can now draw our exponential function. The domain is x, an element of real numbers. The range, y, an element. It is influenced by the asymptote. Our exponential function is heading towards positive infinity, and it is also heading towards a y value of 1. So, our range will be from 1 to infinity. They both have round brackets because we cannot reach those two points. Exponential functions describe very rapid growth. The exponential curve starts off flat and then rises sharply. The magic number in exponential functions is 1. You must be able to distinguish between functions for which a is less than 1 and functions for which a is greater than 1. Really, really good. Really, 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 really good. Uh-huh. Silence, please.